In today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how you can make a super simple physics based hinge door. Now before we get started, let me show you how this door works, just so you have an idea on how it operates. So I'm going to head into test mode, and as you can see, to make this door work, I'm just going to close my plugins. All I need to do is run into it, and as you can see, when I run into it, it should open. It might need a bit of force there. This isn't the greatest example, but I'll be showing you on how you can do it yourself. So first we're going to need a door frame and a door. So I'm going to delete this door or I'm just going to put it somewhere else. I'll put it in server storage just for now. And I'm going to create a door frame and a door. So just to make this easier, I'm going to make my snap to grid be one stud. Okay. And then I'm going to move it and then I'm going to make a super basic door frame, which is literally just going to be this. And then I'll give it two studs of width. Okay. And uh, maybe that's a bit big. And then I'm also going to make a super simple door, which will be perfect, and it will be a bit like this. Okay, so now that we have our super simple doors, in fact, I'll just give it a color so we can differentiate them. So this will be brick, and then this can be wood. And now we can get started with making our door actually work. First of all, we need to make sure that our door is set up properly before we start creating hinges and attachments. So first, let's group all of the parts, and then let's call it door. Then I'm going to name this part door frame, okay, door frame, and then I'm going to call this the door, so name, and actually I'm going to call it the main door part. Now to make sure everything is proper, the door frame should be anchored and the main door part should not be anchored. Now let's say you have another part, like for example, let's say you have a doorknob. So I'm going to create a very basic doorknob and I'm just going to move that and then let's make it a different color. Let's make it um, orange and let's call it the doorknob, doorknob, and then let's make it metal. And then let's move it in to the door and turn off snap to grid. So let's say you have a doorknob. Now the problem is if both of these are unanchored, they will be separate to each other. So let me just show you what I mean by heading into testing mode. When I head over to the door, you can see that the door frame stands. However, the doorknob comes off the main door. So to fix this, we're going to use a weld. So for any of the extra parts you have that are not the main door part, what you do is you click on the doorknob or whatever other thing you have that is on your door. And then what you need to do is head over to model and then click on create and then click on weld. So you're going to click the weld tool and it's going to show this welder tool. And we're just going to click the main door part. And as you can see, it's going to be welded. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like now. So once we head into the game, we're going to head over to the door. And as you can see, the door frame once again stands on its own. But this time, the main door part is connected to the door knob. And now they work together as one. Now it's time to start with some basic attachments. So inside of our door frame, we're going to create an attachment. So let's click on plus and then attachment. And then we're going to head over to our main door part, not our door knob, and click plus and then click on attachment. Okay. Next, what we need to do is rename the attachments. Next, what we're going to need to do is rename the attachments. And it seems I forgot to properly install my attachment here. And let's call this the main door, main door attachment. And then we're going to call the door frame, the frame attachment. And now they're all named properly. Now we need to move the attachments. So what we're going to do is head over to model and then make sure constraint details is enabled. Okay. So to focus on to the attachment, press F, and as you can see, it'll be focused in. If you want to zoom in and you think your camera's moving too fast, you can hold shift and that will make us slowly move. Now, what we need to do is make sure that this attachment, whoops, is on the surface of the door frame. To make it easy, let's just set our um, snap to grid to one and move our doorknob and our main door away. So you can hold shift and then click on doorknob and now both of them will be selected. And then let's move it away so this attachment is a bit easier. And then for more precise actions, you go to the model and snap to grid and set move to be off. And now we can move it. So make sure we're using the move tool. And then let's move it. Okay, that's not exactly perfect. Okay. And then let's get that attachment as centered as we can. Okay, that's looking good. Um, it's best to position the attachment so that they're precisely aligned with each other. If it's misaligned, the door may swing incorrectly, 
For precise positioning, you can use Synaptic Grid, however, sometimes I just freestyle it. It depends on how risky you want to be. And then with our main door attachment, we need to do the same process. Okay, let's make sure they're as aligned as possible. Okay, and that is looking good. Okay, and now we need to rotate the attachments. So the arrow, okay, so this yellow arrow here, which appears when we turn on constraint details, it actually defines the way that the door moves. So for example, if it's pointing to the um if it's pointing to the side here, the door would actually rotate a bit like um let me just demonstrate like this, which is not what we want. So actually what we need to do is reposition these attachments. So what we need to do is make sure the yellow line is pointing upwards. Now to do this perfectly, make sure your snap to grid is set to rotate 90. So you put a 90 here and you check mark the rotate. And this means that when we rotate our attachments, they're going to be perfect. Okay, and here you can see the yellow arrow isn't exactly pointing up. So we're going to move that. And then make sure that the orange arrow is facing the door. So we're going to rotate it. And the orange arrow is facing the door. And as you can see, the orange one here should be facing away. Okay, perfect. Now what we need to do is add the hinge constraint. Now you're able to move the main door back to its original position. Remember, I moved this with a one stud interval. Okay, and now they're together. And to do this, we're going to head over to our door frame and click plus and then click on hinge constraint. Okay, hinge, here it is. And then we need to define our attachment zero. So you can click any of the attachments. Personally, I'm going to do attachment zero to frame attachment and then attachment one to main door attachment. And now they should be perfectly connected. Now let's test it out to make sure it's working properly. Okay, and then I'm going to go up to my door, and if I push it, as you can see, it works. And <laughs> this is not how we want our door to operate. Right now, it can spin infinitely, and that is certainly not what we want. So there can be a quick fix for this. Also, let me just move my doorknob to be more in the door. There we go. Now, I'm just going to do a quick troubleshooting for those people who are having problems. If your parts are not moving, make sure that your door is not anchored. So make sure any of your accessories, like the doorknob, are not anchored, and that your main door part is certainly not anchored. Also, make sure that the door's motion isn't blocked by any nearby terrain. So for example, you can't have a part blocking the door, as obviously a door can't open if something's blocking it. And if the door is not swinging as expected, ensure that the axis of each attachment is pointed up just like this. So you can see the yellow is pointing up and you can see here the yellow is also pointing out and the orange arrows are both facing away. Okay, so now let's adjust the door. So as you saw before, the door could rotate infinitely in a 360 position, which is not what we want. In real life, doors have a maximum of minus 90, which would mean that they're in this position. Let me just demonstrate like this or like this. Obviously, they have to be against the frame, but you get the idea. So what we can do is head over to our hinge constraint and then head over to limit. So you can see in the hinge, there's limits enabled and let's enable this. And now we want our lower angle to be minus 90 and then we want our upper angle to be 90. Now let's head into the game and test it out. Okay. And then let's head over to our door. And as you can see, now when we push it, it's limit. And we can push it the other way and it is limited once more okay so that's perfect hopefully you found this tutorial helpful if you want to leave any future suggestions so if you have any ideas that you want us to do join our discord which will be linked down below if you want to support the channel for a very small price of two dollars just become a member by going to the members chat by clicking on the members link down below hopefully that helps you that's all for me thank you for tuning in and bye bye